Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Empyreon. We have things to do, and when I say things to do, today I mean things to kill. <laughs> I want to explore the planet a bit, fly around with our brand new ship. We do have the gun on the side there, the rocket launcher. But I went in and made a Gatlin gun, which is now in the number three slot here. It looks pretty big when set on the base, but it's certainly not that big on the ship. It is big, it's just not that big. Let's walk this over here, I'll show you what it looks like. There you go, so that's kind of what that looks like. I haven't placed it yet. Um, I think I am gonna place it here. I was thinking about it, just have one on each side. Let's actually just go ahead and do that. So I don't know if it has unlimited ammo as the rocket launcher does, but I thought it might be kind of nice because there's some time between firing. So I could fire like a rocket or two, um, you know, then fire the Gatling gun, kind of switch back and forth. And it, plus just, I want to try another gun. So there we go. We've got two guns on here and I think we're just going to dive right into this. Now, obviously we have drones south here. Actually, we can see the uh, silhouette of one out there in the distance. So we can kind of, there you go, zoom in. Can't really shoot him from here. I noticed that the... Uh, it doesn't quite get to them or anything. But that's cool, because we have a ship to get us out there very quick and some uh, big guns, so let's do this. Just gonna flip power on here. Now I kinda wanna see. Okay, so we stopped pretty clear. We're not really sinking down anymore, but that's cool. Okay, yeah, look at how quickly we jam. Let's just get over here. We're gonna go ahead and try and take some of these guys out. Now, I'm a little concerned, because obviously they're gonna shoot back and we could take some serious damage. Um, I think we're far enough away right now. Let's see. We have the. Where did the repair gun go? That's weird. I actually don't know where that went. I must have, like put it away somewhere. But that's okay. We'll uh, we'll go check the base after we try and take uh, this guy out here. And I'm kind of curious. If I jump back, we still have the sights. Okay, but let's do this. We got the number one and number two slots. So we'll go ahead and start with the rocket here. I think I gotta do something like that angle. A little lower. A little lower, Weem. Am I not close enough, or did I just shoot it through him? What the heck? Oh, I got him. Okay, so we're gonna have to strafe. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is definitely... It definitely strays off. So, as Joe said, we're gonna have to get used to doing strafe runs, kind of get used to firing this thing while on the move. You can see... <laughs> right, whoa! You can say we're absolutely terrible, I keep missing, but that one did seem to hit him. I don't know if there's like a delay, a lag or something, but it looked like it went all the way through him missing, but then it destroyed him, so... That's cool. Oh, and we found some silicon nearby. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and land this thing. We're gonna pop out of here. We'll leave it running, that's cool. Gotta get our loots. Go ahead and just take everything. Excellent. Now, do we have another drone nearby? We don't. But we do have a tower out there in the distance, so let's go ahead and check that out. Now, I have actually been out to a tower before. Uh, let me turn that back on. And they are pretty brutal. Um, I definitely died a bunch of times. So let's just go ahead on out there. <laughs> I died a bunch. It's terrible. Let's go. So anyway, and obviously we're terrible at aiming and everything in this thing, but let's go ahead and switch to Gallon here. I'm going to actually just fire this from here. Okay, so you see the ammo is going nowhere. It's just sitting at 200. So apparently that is not a thing we have to worry about. Now, what I recall is that there's four points around the tower and that there is a turret at each point down there. And then there's also a turret up top. You can get pretty close. I remember on foot anyway, There, I think there was a light indicating that they had seen you. Oh, there you go, shots coming in. Is their aim, oh, that hit. I was gonna say their aim's kind of terrible. Nope, oh, I'm walking into fire here. It's kind of strafe around here, probably very hard for them to hit us. <laughs> if it's hard for them, it's gonna be really hard for me. I'll probably have to like stop the ship and then kind of move again. Let's do that, let's float around. Did I already take two out? Look at that, nice. Oh, they have drones here too. You guys, look at my aim, it's amazing. <laughs> look at that, it's all accidental though. I'm, I'm pro I'm, I think I'm really terrible at this, but. Try to get that drone a little lower, maybe. A little lower. Fly into that. Nice. <laughs> cool. I'm really not sure how much damage we're taking yet. Let's see. Do we have any uh, small vessel, gravity distance, docked, power usage? No. I'm not seeing any clear indicator on how we're doing damage wise. Okay, cool. So all four. All five turrets are taken out, plus there was the drone. I thought there was another drone, but maybe not. I'm not seeing anything. 
So let's go check this out. We're going to go ahead and bring this in and land it. That wasn't too bad. My aim was kind of terrible, but it doesn't really matter too much as long as you can stay on the move. Oh no! That's not good! <laughs> Who's doing that? I thought there was another drone somewhere. Let's, uh, oh, whoa, we got a couple here. Oh, look at that. Three, actually. The rocket didn't, uh, I thought one shot might take them out, but apparently not. Okay, let's, whoa, another one. Wow, they're everywhere. That's very hard to tell if that's hitting or not. Very hard indeed. Whoops. Oh, come on, Ween. A little lower. Well, I'm feeling like an idiot because, of course, once I jumped out of the ship and said, let me find my repair gun, there it was in my inventory. I was in the ship and it doesn't show you what's in your hotbar, so the gun was in the hotbar, not in my inventory, so that's why I didn't see it there. Anyway, here we are, have the repair gun, and essentially you can see we've got a little bit of damage here, but we were shot up quite a bit. It felt like I was taking a ton of bullets, but... Anyway, if we look at this, it's really not bad at all. I don't actually see any other structural damage. It's hard to know. I can't, um, you know, kind of get the status of this stuff, at least as far as I know. I can't see the status of these things. So, anyway, I would say that um, it's actually not bad at all. Probably didn't need to head out of there when I did, but I stuck around for a little bit um, and even more showed up. And I was like, I got to get out of here just to make sure we don't get shot out of the sky. So, anyway, I, th I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, single right click there is fixing that. And. I could kind of like right click around here just to see if maybe it wasn't dented but it started taking damage but oh something something got repaired a little bit there so anyway I think I think we're doing actually pretty good so what I'm gonna do now I think what I want to do is make another um, rocket launcher <laughs> I was gonna say rocket guided what I think I want to make another rocket launcher um, I probably should have waited and done that and put it here so it's kind of one on each side. But I thought it might be kind of cool when firing to have two fire at once. At least I think that's how it goes, actually. Come to think of it, in creative mode, I do seem to recall seeing two rocket launchers or two of some kind of gun in the hot bar. It's like they operated um, separately. So I don't know. Maybe that's not a good way to be spending my time. But I'm going to wait until uh, probably morning. So it's a bit lighter out um, before we go off and do any more of that. Now, I do need to get to these plants. Man, I keep running by these going, oh, I really should gather these. Plus, we should be making more of these to get more stuff planted. But let's just go ahead and grab the stuff that's here so it can continue growing. You are nothing. <laughs> Not yet. It's definitely a long timer. So anyway, we've gathered what we can there. Let me just go drop this off. I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. It's somewhat food related. we got pumpkins, corn wheat and tomatoes and then we got alien parts but they don't look like they rot or anything they have no uh they've got no perish time on there so that's cool so anyway um i think i'm gonna just organize a couple things around here while i wait for the sun to come up and uh, we'll go from there okay the organization of materials went a lot faster than i thought it would <laughs> and just kind of basically empty my inventory a little bit looked at some of the guns or some stuff i'd like to make but it requires materials from uh asteroids i think that's where we find that particular metal let's see what was it again oh advanced cpus right and then we kind of jumped into here the Arrestrum ingot. I think that's the one that's on asteroids. If it's not, then it's on one of the other planets. So we can't really get into the advanced CPU, which means we can't get into things like the rocket launcher, stuff like that, um, just yet. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So anyway, we're going to have to wait on that. So I'm not going to be adding any guns right now. Again, once once the once the sun comes up, we'll go back over there and see what, we, what more we can do. But one of the things I wanted to talk about was a message that was sent to me by Fang. He said, nice video, Weem. I know this kind of this is kind of late, but if I could read his message here, but wouldn't it have been easier to just fix up your busted escape shuttle and use it to fly into space? Uh, you know, it would have been because I wouldn't have had to make as many uh, pieces to get that escape pod up. And I'm kind of bringing this comment in because a couple of people have mentioned this. Yes, you can fix up the escape pod and use it. And I did know that. And I very intentionally did not do that because I wanted to walk through the process of building one from scratch. I wanted to know it myself, all the stuff involved, what that what that was. And I also wanted to show it to everybody because a lot of people watching this are watching because they're trying to decide if they want to get the game or they just really want to see how it works, how it compares to other games. So I, I wanted to walk through that process of building a ship from the beginning, from scratch. 
But the idea is that I am going to go back to the escape pod, at least, again, the idea. We'll see if I get around to it. The idea is to go back there to actually fix it up and have a secondary one. Um, I was telling him that, that that was kind of the idea, and, and he I think he had said something like we could put it on the roof maybe. <laughs> it's like a trophy, but I do want to make like a landing pad as well, a proper landing pad, and then we would have two ships. Um, that way when I leave the atmosphere, uh, we go off to maybe go gather materials. I won't be as concerned if we lose it. You know, if we get to a planet and there's aliens there and there's bases because those are out there, um, and they could shoot us down and completely destroy the ship, I don't want to have to... You know, oh, let me now go work on fixing up the escape pod or something. I, I want to always kind of have two ships ready to go because I just won't risk, you know, tend to risk it. Obviously, we flew and got shot up a bit, so we were risking it to an extent today. But going to space to me, like with the bases, there's a lot of defenses and stuff out there. To me, that's just kind of an unknown. I could, I could, I could easily lose the ship uh, in a situation where I totally didn't expect it. So. Anyway, that's kind of the that's the plan right now. We will fix that pod up and uh, get that thing brought over here at some point. I think that would be pretty cool. But in the meantime, we've got our thing that has thrusters on it and guns. <laughs> okay, we are just about ready to go. The sun is starting to come up, and I wanted to make some food, so I thought I would throw these materials in. I was kind of working on some stuff, and. Uh, you know, had looked at this baked pumpkin and thought, oh, we just gathered pumpkin. Let me go grab this. Let's go ahead and throw these in. I'll pull the meat out I just made. You can see I made a bunch of uh, sausage as well. We'll cue another one in there. Well, let's see. We do have popcorn as an option now. We can make some flour. Probably use that in the making of some other things. Um, our baked pumpkin is there. So let's go ahead and make the pumpkin. We'll make the popcorn. Let's see. Food 50, health. Okay. Stamina 2. We have tons of sausage. The perish time on it is great. It lasts quite a while. So that's cool. Um, we'll go ahead and make popcorn. Why not? And we'll make flour as well. So some of this we'll kind of, we can just kind of use as food. The flour we'll store away. Um, obviously, we, do, we definitely need to get more crops going because this is just not enough. Obviously, things are quite slow. And uh, as you can see in here, I'm actually, at this point, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, you can see right here we've got a need for fiber in order to make the growing plot. And I'm still at this point not sure where that's at. I haven't dug into that. I could do a quick search online and figure that out really quick. I'm pretty sure I skimmed through here and didn't see fiber. So it's not like anything you kind of put together or anything. I think it's something you probably harvest. It's probably a plant that you get it from for all I know. So anyway, that's the thing. We're going to we're gonna get that figured out. Probably by the time you see this, by the time you're watching, I will have already looked it up. <laughs> but feel free if you know. To leave it in the comments just in case because I may not get around to it who knows so let's go ahead and drop this stuff off in here we don't need to take all of this stuff with me I did just eat you can see I just filled up on oxygen as well um, I will go ahead and just throw one in there I'll just put all of this in the fridge for now pretty filled up there may end up needing to get a second one especially if we get more crops going but let's go ahead and do this um, oh actually you know what I did start on the materials to get a second Gatling gun let's see can we uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm not sure if it's like quite ready yet. What are we? 15 metal components needed. So we were close. I, I made the motors and everything. So we need seven, eight of these. Oh wait, 15. So that would be 11, 13, 15. So that ought to do it right there. Nope, that can be. Hmm. What I wanted. Oh, I might have clicked cables. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was like, did I just click cables? There we go. Okay, so that's going to get 15. We're going to queue this guy up. Da, da, da. Where is he? Gatling gun. So we're going to go ahead and throw a second Gatling gun on there. I'm not really sure where. Um, it could be along the ground. I may just stack it right on top of the other one, though. It may block our view a little bit. <laughs> but I want them kind of next to each other. I could actually attach to the side, I suppose. Uh, so that we kind of had a nice grouping when we're firing that. Now, again, it could be that it's its own separate tab, but I thought... You know what, let's just go ahead and make one. Let's just see how that works. Um, and we will go from there. Now I do have a whole block on me. I was thinking, well, I could make a few more of those and kind of cover up some different things to help with the defense, right? If, if things are getting shot up, it'd be nice for the hole to be damaged and not necessarily the parts, but I don't know. We just have the one and I don't want to wait around. I want to get out there and start shooting stuff again. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and wait till this Gatling gun is done. And then uh, head out. I think we're good carrying all this stuff right now. 
hang on to this all. Okay, let's go get this thing on there. So again, I think I might attach it to the side. It's starting to look really wonky. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is the way to go. I think that's probably better. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Let's go back out there and see if we can tear these guys up a little bit. Try not to clip the base, Weem. Cutting it a little short there. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, we had, uh, I think it was like six drones or something out there. It was crazy. It's no good. Now, right off the bat, you can see we have a number two and a number three, unfortunately. So, those are those are not paired. They're separated. So, oh well. That's fine. It really didn't. We had the materials for that and everything. So, it's not too big a deal. Let's see. If we were over there, which one were we going after? Oh, is this one? It doesn't have the uh, stuff on top. So where are those drones at? Maybe they got bored. I did fly away, so they probably chased for a little while, but they may have gone far enough away that um, that we're not going to see them. Let's uh, let's see. We'll jump out here. Okay, so I see a few flying around down there. I see two, but one on the left or three. There could be one behind it for all I know. That's the direction I flew off. Doesn't look like there's any over there. One behind us. I'm trying to see if he goes behind the hill. I think we'll turn around and get him because he seems like he's kind of close. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think he's firing at us. Let me pan because I don't see him immediately. Where'd you go? I can't see through this uh, cloud here. We could stop and try to spot his bullets. There he is. Okay, so we're on the rockets right now. Oi. No aim. Terrible aim. Nice. Come on, one more. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do I loot it now? Uh yes. We can do that. We can do that pretty quickly. Wow, I thought I just jumped out. I was like, no! <laughs> no jumping out right now. Uh let's see, YT. Don't roll over. Let's gather this stuff really quick and get back to it. Okay, I probably could have left the power running for that, really. Are we getting any better yet? I don't think so. I think our aim is still pretty terrible. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, I could land and actually go inside um, the, the base. That wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. And boy, this thing really goes on a detour when you, uh, when you kind of straighten nice. You just barely, barely moving. You can see just how far off it goes. I'm aiming, aiming right there, strafe over, like so. Man, yeah. Come on, just gotta lead him a little bit, maybe. Nice. Now that might be enough for us to land. Never mind. <laughs> There's the other one. Now we know that the bullets don't seem to be doing a whole lot, so I'm actually just gonna hold still here. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and land this thing. You can see the other tower in the distance there. We'll get there at some point. Oops, I actually wanted to turn power off. There we go. Okay, so we can loot those. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. We'll go ahead and leave those. So let me run you over here and show you this guy. I don't think I can quite get up there without the jetpack. So basically, we had the four turrets here. We got this entryway. Uh drop in here okay oh there's the there's the core to this thing and we can access this oh look at that an assault rifle some ores that's cool yeah we will definitely take that looks like we got three of these same thing I don't need these many oh actually that's a totally different that's a shotgun nice it's like I don't need that many assault rifles guys <laughs> some extra parts there and then, yeah, we've got the core here. Um, can't access that or anything. You'd probably destroy it, but that's cool. We'll leave it intact for now. Ooh, can we get out? Ugh. Can I really not get out? Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> cool. You can see the damage here to the edges here. We took it out. I don't... I don't think this respawns, but I don't know. It might. These turrets may respawn, but anyway, there we go. We've uh, destroyed the tower. We're looting these, uh, looting the droids. Like, did I just hear a... He hasn't spotted us yet. I was like, 
think a bullet just whizzed me. We may draw his attention now, but that's okay. So anyway, yeah, like I said, pretty cool. We took a tower out, took the droids out, and now he's spotting us. <laughs> and we're getting our loot. We've got a little bit of running around here to do. I'm getting clipped a little bit. I guess I looted that one already. I'm gonna jog over here, probably get clipped a couple more times. But I think we'll just take him out with the rifle if he's still here. Or the, yeah, the assault rifle, let's see. Where'd he go? There he is. Actually, was that good? I didn't see the red light. Fire and burst swing, let's see. Is there any more? Standing still is a good way to find out. <laughs> Well, I think that'll just about wrap it up for this episode. I think it was a pretty good run. We have much to learn about shooting the guns, that's for sure. <laughs> we have to learn our stray firing, right, Joe? We got much to learn there. But I think, uh, you know, we'll get around next time. Maybe we'll take out another tower or so. But we'll definitely do some uh, exploring of the planet. We're going to fly around, check the place out. I'll show you what's going on with the North Pole, the kind of the poles of the planet. That uh, is related to that um, barricade that uh, we ran into before. And reading a little bit more about that so anyway we'll check all of that kind of stuff out next time i do hope you guys stop back in i appreciate you guys watching and i will catch you next time